Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. It's the age-old question, dad bod or six-pack, right? You've seen countless interviews talking to ladies from these uh, reporters on the streets saying, do you prefer a dad bod or a six-pack? And most guys are kind of kind of wince at the answers when women say that they don't mind dad bods. A lot of guys think that that's garbage or they think they're lying. Maybe there's some truth to that. Maybe there's not. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this particular debate, especially when it comes to male online groups. A lot of, a lot of people think it's crap. Now, when I was a skinny dude as a youngster, by the time I was in college, I had no problem attracting ladies. And it wasn't my six pack. It wasn't being a big dude. It was knowing who I was, knowing what I wanted, and being confident. Confidence is key. Fellas, when it comes to dating and when it comes to, to ladies, it's all about knowing who you are, knowing what you want, and not being afraid to take it. That's what it comes down to. And maximize what you have. Give a shit about what you put in your body and take care of yourself. Healthy. Be healthy. A lot of guys take this stuff to the extreme where they have to, they feel like they have to have a, a six pack and be ripped to attract women. That's not necessarily the case. I've seen skinny dudes like myself have no problems. I've seen guys that are overweight have no problems. And the common denominator between those two people, confidence, being funny, being fun to be around being interesting and owning what they have. All right. If you're skinny, own it, lean into it. Don't let somebody else make you feel bad about really how you look. So in my lifetime, I grew up kind of a skinny kid, didn't really have the best diet. I was a year round athlete. I did all kinds of stuff, baseball, football, basketball, uh, running and didn't really gain weight until I got married, got a little older. And then I got to the point where I got a little bit chubby, got into fast food, especially right around the time of COVID and got to the point where I didn't really feel good, honestly. And I had my awakening in the fall of 2020 and got super into fitness, health, and I went a little bit overboard little bit of an extreme and uh, got in probably the best shape of my life physically. I got my six pack back, uh, working out five, six days a week, watching my diet, counting all the calories, all that stuff. Got obsessed with it. And throughout that whole time, my wife watched the whole process. And frankly, she didn't like the fact that I was so obsessed with it. She didn't, I mean, she was complimenting me on my physique. She probably just could care less, honestly, when it came to uh, uh, the, the level of fitness I was achieving. The greatest piece of advice I can give you regarding this particular subject is take care of yourself as best as you can, but don't obsess over it. The obsession is where it's a turnoff, okay? When you're just, you're completely into the reflection in the mirror and you, you do everything that you can to, to, to get there. All right, you get obsessed with it. That's when it's a turnoff. If you take care of yourself, you're confident, you enjoy yourself. And the biggest thing is if you feel good about yourself and you're, and you're healthy, that's what it comes down to. Own what you have to offer. Be funny. Be cool, calm, and collected. If, if you've got skills that is fairly rare, lean into that, okay? You don't have to... Be, you don't have to have a six pack to attract women. Okay. Does it help? Yeah, a little bit, but don't obsess over it. That's where it's a turn off. Okay. That's, I see it over and over on these online forums and these, these chat rooms. And if I can only have a six pack, my wife will love me again. Like that's, that's not how it works. That's just not how female attraction works. All right. Confidence, cool, calm, and collected have skills that are rare, work on yourself. And the biggest thing, fellas, be interesting. Be interesting to be around. 
okay? When it comes to a marriage and when it comes to aging, it really comes down to this one fact. Give a shit about being the best version possible. If you're super busy, you're not going to be able to get to the gym five, six times a week, most likely. Two or three times a week, great. Just don't obsess about it, all right? Care about being healthy. That's the key. That's sexy. That's attractive. So there you have it. If you like this material, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate those that have already done that. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.